raise this barn, raise this barn, one, two, three, four, together we will raise this barn, one, two, three, four. Eh? <laughs> Discord! Mm. 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 It's good! Mm -mm. Hey, Kay! Yes, Applejack? Stop eating my tail! Oh, you want some of mine? <laughs> I don't want any of your cotton candy tail madness. I, I don't want it, Pinky. No, thank you. I already had enough of your madness today. Uh, I wish I could turn my tail back to its normal state. F*** you, Discord! Hello, everybody. Welcome once again to The Brony Show, episode 519. I hope you're doing well. I'm doing just peachy keen. Why? Because we're just a week away from the day. The day that used to bring a horror to my heart. And now it brings a horror to my heart and my stomach because of all the cheap chocolate that I have to avoid. But for now, we're uh, just a normal day. And I am your host here to bring you the Brony community for this normal week. On this normal day, I am Circuit Main. However, I'm not here to be... I'm not here to show you the Brony community alone this week. I'm here with a wonderful group of not normal panelists. On this normal day. We are joined by Deathlight Productions. I normal at all. DM21. Ready for extreme pony shoots and ladders, ladders, ladders. Tech Stallion. Not the shoots. Only ladders. Toakoi. If you were expecting an abnormal response, no. It is but a normal day. And I am a normal human being. Hi, <clears throat> and we also got joined by Suzuki of the Taku Ascendant. No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not actually here. I'm talking to you while while asleep. Sounds righteous. Well, now that Toakoi has decided to make me have to go to the complete opposite. Okay, that's being stupid. <laughs> so I thought I'm not sure I can hold that for long. <laughs> you you tried. You tried, but as soon as you did the doll bit, I went straight for it. No, the problem the problem is that I could do that as long as I want. I'm pretty sure by about three minutes everybody is gonna be screaming for me to stop. In fact I can already hear I can already hear command or something getting ready with um very various artillery because of that. Hey, I'm already loaded into one of those at the moment. I'm surprised he didn't fire it yet. I'm uh, it's he might be... and he said this is not fun at the moment. Right. Anyway, um, of course, we're here to bring you the Brony community for this week, and if some of the hints didn't already um, give it out, we're going to be playing Shoots and Ladders, but we're going to be doing it on Tabletop Simulator. We're going to be doing it with a ponified version of it, and we're not just going to be playing wonderful Shoots and Ladders. We're going to be doing it in more, most extreme and strange challenges. What challenges will those be? Well, we're going to have to wait and see. But we should be joined by a few other people shortly uh, for the Shoots and Ladders shenanigans. But first, we of course need to warm up our vocal cords. Give a little bit about our daily lives and our entire weeks. As ju In fact, our um, wonderful chat room is um, asking us right now, how is our weekend? What better way to tell them than a little bit of wub time? So, I ask all of you once again, as we do every week, to get ourselves ready. What's up, bronies? Cold. 
yeah. it's cold <laughs> it's cold yeah, definitely definitely cold definitely well you know, today i started with going over to my, to my workplace getting some stuff done for them grabbing a um basically a rear end out of a car because my my parents vehicle got ran into the ditch um oh no ouch like last week so i had to go and um also borrow a trailer for them go about an hour and a half down there and then an hour and a half to come back and replace the whole thing underneath the car before the sun went down so before um before 6 p.m here <laughs> yeah that's the new one by the way so i didn't have time to take a picture of the car after i was done but got really lucky with that because everything looks pretty new on it. Like the rubbers and stuff look look good. They weren't cracked or anything. I was very happy about that. Yeah, definitely was, good good times all around there. Then yeah, it was about nine hours altogether today. <laughs> <laughs> it was a lot. All right. Oh, well, that kit. Uh, well, glad. Glad to see you, and, um, at least uh, went all, kind of all as well that ends well for the most part then. It's going in tomorrow for an alignment because anytime you uh, mess with the with anything with the suspension or steering, you have to go get it aligned because it's not it's not gonna be correct. <laughs> yeah, I doubt you I doubt you wanna just uh, take it by eyesight and say, Oh, it's good enough. You can do that uh, for a little bit. It pulls a little bit to the left, so yeah, uh, it's gonna, Go get that done. Mm. That's pretty much replacing everything in the rear end, so I'm not too surprised. <laughs> so. All, right. All right. Well, does anybody else have any other what's up, Bernie? I had the coldest weekend of the of the month so far, and I couldn't take puppy out until today, so that was uh, nerve wracking for her. She was so happy to run around the field. Hmm. Ah, that's nice. You know what? I, you know what? I was up yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> you were up. You were absolutely up yesterday. <laughs> Something about Riley waking you up. Kai, not exactly. No, that was no, that was this morning. No. Uh, okay. I, I'm what? No. Let me just. Uh, okay. Like all I have to say. Pretty much, I'll just put it this way. Um, the latest vod on my ch ch Twitch channel is 24 hours, one minute, 56 seconds. Yeah, he did a 24 hours thing. He didn't beat Mystic Quest, though. I'm disappointed. Uh, honestly, I got to the point where I realized this is not a game that I can. This is not a game for me to play in one sitting. Yeah, not no. not, not not from like a like I could have I could have beaten it, no problem. But it was just that because of how I am and how I re and especially once I recognized that there was the possibility of getting items from like the battlefields and yeah that means i have to basically be sitting there bashing a button for a long time oh yeah no the, the mindless grind will sometimes get you a little bit so yeah because like if it wasn't for those i i don't know i might have gotten there but then again yeah the which game I'll, was I'll, this off, uh, final fantasy Fire. mystic quest like i'll be perfectly honest if if there was the oh. ability to do like do like game genie stuff with that i probably i probably would have at just for the sake of stream, I probably would have added in some kind of like, some kind of like experience, uh, experience uh, cheat. Because well, yeah, there they, is, but there's yeah. also a randomizer. But it's I don't I think that actually the reason I didn't bring up the randomizer is I don't know if you know anything about the game at all. So I don't know how well you. Have done I bear I barely knew anything about it. So yeah, and when I yeah. was actually watching it being used, apparently they ran across a glitch that basically wiped out the end boss by uh, by complete glitch. So um, it yeah, probably needs it's, a little more work. Yeah, it's um, but yeah, like because I will say like overall I see where it could it could have like they were trying to appeal as like you know to the Western audience just trying to. Get, trying to make it an introduction to like how RPGs work, but I will say this: one, I had no idea what any items do. Mm -hmm. Two, why do they make it to where you can't revive your party member until like almost the last area? What? Yeah, no, they they, they hide the life spell from you till like near the end for some reason. Yeah, That's but all your part, all your part, all your partners can do it. So up until that point, basically your strat your strategy is pretty much. 
is pretty much they your partner gets he, gets first priority for healing and then they they revive you. Yeah. Um it's a fun but, game. But uh yeah, and but then... <laughs> the other yeah, the the uh, the only like true complaint I have about it is that like yeah, you wanted to introduce people to like what a JRPG was like. You didn't have to give them that kind of grind cuz yeah, the grind in that game is actually kind of annoying. Speaking of games, uh, I mm -hmm. beat a game called Turn Up Boy uh, uh, Commits Tax Evasion uh, last weekend. Uh, I believe is one of during one of Circuit's uh, live. It was during the Pokemon, stream. Pokemon stream. Yeah, that I joined in for a little bit. Yeah. It, it wasn't a very long game, but it was like uh, it was like if you're not somewhat familiar with Zelda, it has some Zelda esque uh, like uh, uh, game mechanics. It was a fun little adventure, and it was it had a lot of funny jokes in it. Hmm. Uh, really quick, Judd. Um, uh, the yeah, I saw your question there. I, I didn't exactly tear up. I you know, good run, nine seasons, a movie, several specials. What's re you know, it, it wrapped up and it got to wrap up in its own way instead of just literally being canceled like on Netflix. Boo. Yep. So yeah, I I was just ha I was happy that it got to wrap up on it on its own terms, especially after a long run like that. That's yeah. Uh, many also, people the... expected to for it to end around season three, but we fans with our love and dedication brought it back, helped them see that we wanted more pony, and they brought it back. Yeah. We... Well, it's the fact we were making he had over fist, and that's what they wanted. Well, more of the, there, there's a lot of things involved, but it's better that it ended when it did instead of suffered serious stagnation. Yeah. Also, the fact that they basically opened on a book and ended on a book. Best. best. That was the best end point that a series could have ever had. Anyway, um, getting getting matters. back on getting back on track though. Uh, well, um, might as well throw a little bit of my what's up, Brony, here. I don't have too much going on at the moment. This whole month is basically kind of a wait and see kind of moment for me, which is it's not a great wait and see, but I'll get into that if I ever have to for the moment. Uh, but what I, I did do something over the weekend. I was able to finally uh, bottle one of my meats that I've been working on for months. Uh, the reason I, this is rather noteworthy, though, I didn't write anything down in regards to this mead because I thought I could remember it like I did the last few batches. I was wrong. So at the oh, moment, so I have... Why you always have documentation, okay. documentation, documentation. Yeah, but let me go. Let me just run this down here. So at the moment, I have no idea how long this mead aged. I have no idea what its starting gravity at, is at. So even if I measure the end gravity, it does me no good. Because of that, I have no idea how strong this meat is. It could have an ABV of twenty-five. It could be a, oh. it could be in line with hard liquors, and I wouldn't know at this point. I and I it actually is rather it tasted really good, went down smooth, no harshness. So that's another problem. I don't remember what I put into this thing outside of honey and water. I literally have an unknown mead. <laughs> That I'm not going to be, a, that I'm probably going to have a very hard time to, uh, if I even try to replicate it. Because I just, I didn't think, I, I thought I wasn't good enough, I thought I was good enough to not need to notate. And that was a bad mistake. And the problem is, the problem is, I have two other meads that also are on the, that are currently um, aging that I didn't write anything on. And outside of the fact that I also put in pomegranate in one of them and i think that's the key word there think i put in um what was it a power fruit no dragon it, fruit no 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 it's a type of tea so it's a reddish tea that is like really fruity um it's like power awaken alive uh passion passion fruit tea I, I think I might have put passion fruit tea in the other one. I don't know what else I'm putting into these other than the fact that I put in honey. For I'm putting in honey for the for a back sweetener to make them a little bit more uh, flavorful and sweet sweet instead of just like super strong. So yeah, the, I'm gonna have questionable meads, and I'm probably gonna end up bringing some of these to, to Everfree and Babs. So heaven help anybody who comes across me. 
Drink my mead. I don't know what's in it, but I'm sure you're going to love it. <laughs> it's an unknown liquid. I'm sure you'll have fun. <laughs> yeah, that's my that's my little um, whoopsie Are we daisy. Sure, we should be calling poison control. No, no, no. It's all it's all it's all on board. Well, for one thing, I did taste test the mead, and I haven't gotten sick yet. So if we needed poison control, it would have been for something else. Yeah, but no, as as long as I did pro follow proper protocol when it regards to aging, checking for mold, making sure that it was stored properly, everything else with the meat is perfectly fine. I just don't know how strong it is or what flavors uh, were made to make it. Well, I'm sure the people in Barry Tube will enjoy it. Yeah, Circuit's Mystery Mead, exactly. That we Three Mystery Meads, and one of them has pomegranate and blueberry in it, and the other one... Might have passion fruit tea. Maybe. Anyway. You should, re you that, should really get the best of that nose flavors to have a taste of that. I don't know if they want to. It's like saying anything. It's like handing them an out and mark can of Coke and just like have fun. Uh, anyway. But that's my that's my little extraordinary rant. Uh, anybody else have any other what's up Bernie going on? Or should we go ahead and get into the news? I would say get into the news because my weekend has just been messing with you guys and, you know, that sort of thing. I did, however, finish up my Ghostbuster outfit and throw it into my suitcase for uh, the next week. Right. Oh, yeah. That, that is, well, well, actually, that uh, gives us a good segue to start off here. So let's go ahead and start off our news with the the best part of it. Talking about the upcoming conventions. First off, we do have the Equestrian Showcase, which uh, we've mentioned a few times already. This is a wonderful little showcase of events uh, of musicians, pony musicians out there, that will be playing their best in, uh, best music in Ponytown this weekend. So not only is this uh, completely online, this is online and based around the Ponytown game servers. So... Yeah, it'll be a fun time to check it out. We will make announcements on the Discord when the actual event starts. But I really encourage and hope that everybody and anybody is able to go and check it out. Especially if you want to hear some of the latest and greatest or get a taste of some of the musicians that are out there. And actual live conventions, we have HarmonyCon, which will be coming up the week after that. Once again, uh, unfortunately, I wasn't. A, I'm not going to be able to attend. But we do know that Toakoi, CMC, and Winchester, and maybe a few others, are going to be going. And I'm sure Toakoi, at least maybe CMC, uh, will uh, give us a night, uh, give us a rundown of what happened at HarmonyCon. But either way, I hope they have the great a uh, lot of fun over there. I think this is like their what, third year now, maybe fourth. Uh, they, here's the funny thing. I think they started right before the pandemic, and they were the last convention before the pandemic happened. Well, yeah, consider, considering they do it in February, and the um, the Celestia's so Pancake Madness hit in March. Yeah, they were the last convention, and that's that's a whole other story. Anyway. So yeah, we'll uh, hear from that when that happens, and of course, uh, the one, the next one after that will be Gleam Fest, which I still have no information on, and I did not look much further into this. I really should at some point, but uh, yeah, that's in that's b back into the middle of March. So we got time. Yeah, essentially. All right, so that is the convention wrap-up. Let's go ahead and start off with fun stuff in the news. Of course, beginning with merchandising. Merchandising. And for the first thing of merchandising is new books available. So it looks like Ministry of Image has still been hard at work, and they have print brought out the Empty Horizons print now. So, yeah, if... If you've been wanting to get more pony fan fictions in book form, now you can go ahead and. I saw something like this in my in my Gmail the other day. Yeah, I saw it in mine too, as well as a few of the uh, discords that I follow that that uh, post about books. But uh, yeah. I don't know with uh, the Tears of the Kingdom coming and uh, 
uh, Mega Man and Battle Network Anniversary Collection. I have to start saving up for those. No, you don't. You need to save up for Octopath Traveler, the second. Why? I still haven't finished the first one, so I'll I'll wait on that one. Hmm. Yeah, fair enough. But yes, uh, Empty Horizons, it looks like it's one book, and this is uh, basically dealing with the future where they find the ruins of Canterlot and they find the preserved main six that were um, miraculously preserved, and now they um, unleash them in order to save the current present, which, uh, yeah, basically um, doom, gloom, boom, I guess. This is giving me Wind Waker vibes. Also, second, you're not streaming to the Discord. Thank you. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Anderson, agreement for I, the fact that is that is um manufactured by the Ministry of Image. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, th- this is uh, one of a few different books I've been curious about now, so I might have to put in a, an order for Ministry of Image if I have enough money after saving up for a few things. But that's a that's another in the uh, long list of things to do. But yeah, check it out if you are curious about books. But some of you are like, Circuit, I don't want books. I want figures. Well, why don't we go ahead and... Um, actually, you know what? Thinking about this here, really quickly, we're going to be putting on our spoiler tag. Ooh. Because this is mer- this is March. This is absolutely merch. However, I the there is some things that are re, that might be being revealed that are can be considered spoilers for people that really really want to avoid any little bit of spoiler. But now that the so yep uh spoil the spoiler tag is up. I'll notify when it is gone. But for now, look away. So, new G5 toys have uh, started to pop up, featuring Zip, Pip, and Misty. Ooh. Now, some of you might already be connecting dots why we're putting up a spoiler ah, tag. right there in the thumbnail. That's why, yep. Of course, if, if you're not sure, we could just go ahead and move on to the picture that pretty much ma- makes a blatant. But, dun, yes... Dun. So, uh, for those of you who are not looking, we won't describe it, but it does appear that Misty has a cutie mark on her figure. However, this could also be just the one of the fake cutie marks that she uses to go around town without being spotted. So, I am not going to say with 100% certainty, and I'm uh, not going to read the back of the box. The more important thing is what's underneath the mystery. Her hooves? No. The name. She has a last name. Well, yeah, but we're going to leave that one alone, too, for the fun of it. So, unless somebody's really curious. But, yeah, Misty it, Misty is getting her own figure. So, obviously, she's of somebody of importance if she's getting a figure, even before Opaline. Somebody make a comic about Opaline getting upset that Misty gets a figure before her. <laughs> no, but, she uh, wouldn't care. She would be more I, concerned I, I about that not was getting an old book by her. Yeah, I, I think there was an opening figure before this, but you know. Well, either case, we also have uh, Princess Pet Petals and, of course, Zip. Actually, it did that. Okay, never mind. Yeah, Zip. Yep. Yeah. And Zip uh, also getting a figure. Uh, I will give him credit though. At least the uh, the box, the figure in the box actually does have like zippish hair, so it's like freaking, it's like sky high, but then it curls back like uh, you're, we're waiting. I'm waiting Probably for a bone to use a, as a hook for a belt or a bike bike lock or something. You got you got a lot of faith in that in whatever they're using to style that hair. I'll it's tell a you. Joke. It's a joke. It's well, amazing no, no, no. hair gel. It it's amazing hair gel. gel. Either that or they're waiting for a bone to put in there. She's gonna be the new <laughs> Wilma. She's gonna be the new ooh, Wilma Flintstone. Ooh, ooh, ooh. No, no, I would do it with pebbles, and then we can make kids bam, bam. <laughs> no, no, we are not doing that. Okay. Oh, why do you do this? Let's see, Kasakai. Um, yes, but actually, no. 
Uh, well, no, hey, yeah, yeah. Actually, they did. In fact, I think I have a Chrissy in my uh, back behind me. But yeah, no, C Queen Chrysalis did get a few toys. Mainly uh, in the Guardians of Harmony, but no, no, no. There was also the brushy one where she basically yeah. she got they had the uh, they had that goth look thing going on for some reason. They gave her like weird um striped stockings. Which we were... also had goth Lestia. Anyway, so yep, new figures are coming out. Have fun with that. And with that, of course, we're going to go ahead and remove our spoiler tag. So you are now free to walk about the podcast until I show you the knockoff of G5 Get Pony game that has appeared in Russia. What? <laughs> oh my is... god, is he Pinkie Pie? Oh, they they went to. Out. Look what they did to our boy! He, he was beautiful as a woman. There. Just let his hair go down. I don't see an issue with this. Why is my phone yaying all of this? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Zip looks uh -huh. like a supermodel now. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Oh, my God. Uh, <laughs> give me a second here. Apparently, something's going on. I, I don't know what's going on right now. So, something's happening, and now my phone has just decided. It must warn me. Uh, keep. I guess Fluttershy is really excited about knockoff ponies. <laughs> Go I'm figure. popular enough to get knockoffs off of me. Yeah. But oh, yes, um, a knockoff board game, you can tell where a lot what they were going for with a lot of these. Uh, Izzy, of course, is... Well, Izzy is still looks like Izzy, but doesn't at the same time. In fact, everybody... It's kind of weird because it almost looks like everybody is like a cheap Chinese knockoff, which is even more hilarious somehow. <laughs> Goes into the uncanny valley. My oh, little communism, yeah. my little communism. <laughs> Uh, I don't say it's communism we need to worry about. My little knockoff, my little knockoff. Let's steal money oh, from Hasbro. Everybody is wearing wigs. <laughs> Everybody. Here comes Hasbro legal department. <laughs> no, seriously, I, I'd be really surprised. I'd be really surprised if Hasbro wasn't wasn't trying to do something in regards to this right now. Because wow, like a pip in the middle of the top of there, she is untouched. I think, uh, yes, but actually no. I don't know. It kind of looks like they painted them all. She's in not those... short. Also, this is freaking Candyland. <laughs> uh, it, it, it looks like it's reaching slightly into that uncanny valley territory. Especially if sunny space. It's like I did. I have I done enough brownies uh -huh. today for this knockoff photo? Uh -huh. Also, I love that they use the same picture over and over again of her. It just flipped. <laughs> Oh, it is! <laughs> it's the exact same model of everything! I was bring that yep. up. Oh, wow. Uh, the same with Zip, too. They didn't everybody. Say they said that yep. it's with everybody. They're, nobody has a different pose in all of this. How can we not go rip them off the most cheapest way? Oh, wow. Well, let's go ahead and uh, have a little bit more fun in a different way. Now, of course, uh, last week I talked about how Equestria Daily was starting to do this day in pony history, and I was hoping that they would continue it. And they have. Oh, yeah, they are. So, yep, yeah, uh, I have put it in the show in the news, but I'm not going to go over too much because it's literally history. But if you do want to check it out, it does have a lot of little tidbits, including some poll results for the time, discussions on uh, episodes, weird things that popped up like the, a giant Trixie pinata. I mean, look at that thing. Oh, wow. Okay. Wow. Now that oh. dates it right there. <laughs> you think that's crazy? Here we go. What po achievements in uh, Skyrim pony technology? <laughs> po ponies in Skyrim. How does that take you back? <laughs> Brush, so, yay. Oh, uh, uh, the uh, remember when I was like, yay, Funko Pops! Yeah, no, th this was a lot of fun times. Uh, so, yeah, if you want to get a nice little blast from the past, you or, um, or worst case, you want to find something that you're like, ooh, I should see if I can find that on eBay now. Good luck. Uh, yeah, I tried finding Pinkie Pie. <laughs> Sorry. Pop, oh, no, the deputy no, returns to Leroy. Not the ones, but the, yeah, I had no luck. Yeah. Oh, do you want to see the moon rise? Oh, this was yep. completely overdone. But yeah. 
No, uh, yeah, really. Do you want to, sister, do you want to see the night live? I promise it'll be really fun. Oh, the first draft, friend. Oh. Actually, this one was a different one where they had where draft friends and authors would connect with one another to basically create art or a uh, fanfic about a piece of art or both. Just as planned. Just as planned. <laughs> mm -hmm. But yeah, no, just a lot of a lot of um insane stuff that happened way back when, including of course uh, a dating sim that you may still be able to find at the moment. Oh, Ponytail Adventures. That, no doubt the non-safe for work demo is probably removed. I don't know. You might still be able to find it, but I'm not going to try and actively I'm just look saying, for it. I'm not insinuating I want to find it. Uh huh. Uh huh. <laughs> yes. Anyway. Mm -hmm. And of course, uh, let to wrap this all up, we can't forget the most awesome figure that came out of all of all time. So much hype around this figure. <laughs> I wanted it, but I could never get it. It was Timing so was much never right. It was so uh, much art. It was amazing. <laughs> there's still art coming about this here and there. It's it's glorious. Heck, everything about this is glorious. I mean, hell, MLP mod for Scribble Knots. I think wow. I actually messed with this a little bit. Anyway, so yeah, if you want a nice little um, pacing into the past, including a lot of stuff I didn't cover. Please be sure to check it out. It looks like they are coming out with this almost every single day, if not every single day. So well, there's a lot. Episode discussion. There is absolutely a lot to talk about here. But let's talk about the new stuff, including Mr. Fluffy. Yes, Mr. Foof. Or how Main Six. Lost to Velvet. This is also how Main Six is going to do things slightly differently from. Uh, What's the one with all of the, uh, with basically it's like 90% girls and one guy that's a giant walking band? Get her alive. No! Or oh, skull, skull Girls, you're thinking Skull Girls. I am thinking Skull Girls, yeah. Well, you said 90% of women before you got the big band. Well, I, so, mm. Okay, I, no, and here's the thing. You're wrong about Dead or Alive. That's, that's at, that actually does have a fairly balanced male to female roster. Okay, yeah. fair enough. I think... All I mean, every you're, you're, you're okay. Yeah. The other ba basically, let me put it this way: Don't take the volleyball games as as what <laughs> Dead or Alive is. <laughs> That's what I thought he was referring to. In fact, the the volleyball games are have the guys too, just usually in more of a support role or the antagonist for the whole thing. Yeah, if you want to call it antagonist. Oh, big old icy boy. Yeah. No. <laughs> but anyway. <laughs> Yeah, no, they so this is like the second male that they're gonna be getting in, which are and it which is funny considering Skull the Skull Girls fight engine is what they used for them's fighting herds. Yeah. So that, that's why I was bringing gonna be male or just one more male than a female. I don't know. I, I they might in either that's case, I, I'm I'm happy for the diversity, but also yeah, the floof the fluffiness. Look how fluffy I, this guy is. I love I it. He is so him. fluffy. Also, I, I love the fact that it's showing that the deer can actually use magic and it's not just unicorns. What are you talking no, about? they could I... use magic before this guy came onto the board. What the heck, Toa? Uh, we're just going to leave it alone. It, it's... Yeah. But either case, yep, strong oath. And of course, yep, yeah, and... Yeah, they, I'm actually really excited because they've been rolling these guys out pretty quickly, too. I can't wait to see who the next one is they have planned. So, yeah. I am. I have more of a reason to buy a season pass now. Given the color schemes, uh, one that might be uh, related or at least uh, in the same uh, element vein as Ollilander. All, all Ollilander. Ollilander, yeah. Right, it is Ollilander. I knew I, I was. I wanted to say Velvet, but I wasn't it. No, Velvet is uh, the same. Uh, Velvet the, the is the deer. the deer. Yeah. Well, how about we talk about it? One that starts with a V, anyway. Violet. The full Carousel album has been released by Violet Pony, who is a really awesome musician. So yeah, I I listened to that this morning when I was busy driving around everywhere. Was, yeah. But yeah, so the full entire album and uh, an hour and eight minute long thing, nice little setup. You can play it all in one nice little YouTube video. 
Or you can also go to the bank camp and buy it if you want to, uh, like, uh, own a little piece of it that you can keep forever, as long as bank camp keeps service up. Yep. And you can download it. But, yeah, either case, uh, pretty awesome, especially if you want to check out a Brody musician or give a little support or enjoy him. You know, many reasons. One album. Let's go ahead and move on. Now for comics, because we do have to bring them up at one point. Issue 9, the second to last of the current Discord arc, has released. I have my copy of it. I haven't read it yet because I haven't read several of the copies already. I'm way behind. But um, I have it, at least. So eventually I will. I keep saying to myself, as I have like two, almost two full boxes of Pony Comics. Now, are they long or short boxes? They're standard. Okay. I have no idea what you mean by that. But yeah, uh, in either case, it is exciting because uh, after um after the tenth issue, they're going to start doing other arcs. So, but the what they have done so far, from what I could tell, has been rather interesting and quite unique. But uh, unfortunately, I can't take much more than that uh, since I haven't really again taken much more than that. But that's on me. So instead, let's go into the last little bit here. Concepts and 3D models of Opaline, Sparky, and other Make Your Mark objects have been released. So, of course, there's a danger that somebody is going to find these and immediately find a way to import them into Source Filmmaker and Blender. Heaven help us all. But uh, it is it still brings us that wonderful little uh, happiness that we get once in a while. Where we can go and take a look at all of the wonderful things that they've made in regards to the series and how much it's changed or what little tidbits we can find for it. Well, that explains why Sparky is so creepy. It's based on actual children. Well, babies, but I I gotta give them credit. I mean, that's a good point of reference, I suppose. Mm -hmm. What's Opaline look like? Of course, we it do have like a horse with wings. Look and at the horn and the anger issues. Much anger, Narciss- narcissistic issues too. Yeah, that is a wilted tree. No, that's that, her lair. Tree. Is that her lair? Oh, it kind of looks. Yeah. That's what it says up top. That's what it says uh. up top. Yep. Oh, they, six gems. What tree. is that referencing? Hmm. I suck the magic out of the six pones. You'll never guess who they are now. And of course we have it. Why is there? Well, there is an altar, but it has to be more curious. Than, oh, yeah, it's a potion. Yeah, it's a potion altar. It looks like it's part of Opaline's little um, tree thing, though. Hmm. The hmm. plot thickens. No, the potions are thickening. They've been on the shelf. They've they've expired. Ah, years nice ago. sandcastle. Sandcastle winner. The sandcastle winner, yay! And the destroyed sandcastle. Ah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Why does it kind of remind me of Final Fantasy somehow? It uh, reminds me more of like uh, Sandy Gas from Pokemon. Oh, they killed the Pokemon. Okay, next one. <laughs> Super dead now. And of course, and that, that looks like Pilo Sand. Attempted, uh, attempts, attempted Sand Castle. Mm-hmm. Sandy Crab. Uh, Sandy that's Crab. Just a crab. Oh, don't be so crabby. Okay, yeah, uh, it looks like it's a bunch of sa- bunch of crabs there, but yep. We we got a the bunch sand. of sand. <laughs> Another Sand Castle. Still. Whoa! Whoa! Okay. Whoa! 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 Oh. You hit the wrong button. You, you hit the wrong button. I did. I did. I did. So they do bleed <laughs> rainbows. All right. Anyway, uh, so go ahead and close that because that is it for the news. How fun is that? Wow. Yay. And there is much rejoicing. Wait a minute. Yay. News is yeah. done. It's nine fifty. The hell is this? I know I'm I as know, scared right? as you, I'm as scared as you are, but I'm trying my best to be more efficient. However, I'm pretty sure that we're gonna go ahead and get into the inefficiency because we do have the challenge of the week. Call. 
Tether. Trains. Pancakes. Syrup. Sears catalog from 1930s. The kid built houses. Um, Mighty Jacks. I don't think he's into those. Commander something randomly dollar. popping into the chat room. Okay, we're going to just go ahead well, and move Commander on. Commander something's <laughs> in there now. Yeah, All right, we'll, we'll just go ahead. It, they may not be available at the moment, so we'll just go ahead and move in. Yeah, Cole could be doing laundry. Yeah, so so for the moment, we do we have the challenge. moderating for another chat. Well, for the moment, let's go ahead and take care of things here. So the challenge for the week was Pony Apocalypse. This was uh... randomly... Ah, uh, hey. I, I thought there was more. And Cole stepped away. Uh, yeah, it's surprising. Mm -hmm. We got done early. It's yeah, pretty, I'm a, I'm it's, as scared as you scary. are. I'm really as scared as you are. Uh, Wait a minute. And the challenge is the is Pony Apocalypse. Pony Dear Apocalypse. Lord. Yeah, I know, right? Oh, Commander joined us. Everybody Hi, Commander. Shh. I think he wants to be undercover. It doesn't exist. Right. Wait, Not there's here. a Commander here. No. We don't talk about it. We don't. We don't talk about something. No. Okay, let's go ahead. <laughs> that was terrible. Okay, Who's so next? we we had the challenge of the week, which was Pony Apocalypse, but we also had a protest initiative challenge. Since, unfortunately, uh, Cold Dust is currently indisposed. Uh, Crazy Matt Captain, do you want to handle that? Hold on. I accidentally closed the thing. Uh, VHS. Yep. And so with that in mind... I created this. Wow. You played good on the character art there. This, this took this took a while. I'm, I'm not going to lie. I got the initial idea sketched out last night, and, but the actual line arting, coloring, a little more detail work than usual, uh, especially the coloring, if he gets into the hair and the face. This screams 80s. That's pretty much exactly what I was going for. My idea, Pony Apocalypse, I figured what would be a good way of having fun with that term without having to have everybody blow up or die or drown somehow? Well, let's use the, the tour names that they used to have for, like, back in the 80s and 90s, which is like the Apocalyptic Tour, the Nostalgia Tour, the uh, Records Tour. So, basically, got Pony Apocalypse 84, the Music Tour. Hi, Cold Dust. Hi, Cold You have a cat nose on or is that it's a cat nose but that was intentional okay hello sorry about that i was uh getting soup and also other things hello hello oh hello. that looks great what he said it looked great oh sorry it brought it literally blocked out on me so i didn't hear all of it <gasps> So yes, the challenge was the Pony Apocalypse, and I made that do a musical challenge to, to change things up. But also, the Protest Initiative Challenge. Wait, did we say, you said VHS, right? Yes. Yes, I did. VHS. Yes. So to play into that, of course, if you had a musical concert in 84, what better way to represent it than a recording on a VHS tape? Which is it's on probably, top of the oh, TV. It's probably all grainy and blowing out and sounds not all that great, but you still love it anyways. Exactly. <laughs> it's the perfect... It, this embodies somebody just living through the 80s for a little bit. And every I love it, everything about it. <laughs> Excellent. I, this is great. Yeah. 10 out of 10. Yeah, it hurt a lot to make, though. Oof. But uh, we also had one other entry that wasn't nostalgic. Of course, Toakoi uh, submits to this. Mm -hmm. I originally wanted to do the image that is on the VHS as just like a colorful apocalyptic city with a VHS in the center of it playing on it. But I went, nah, and let's just go with the VHS angle and make it an apocalypse movie. Nice. Yeah. I like the circuits way, apocalyptic back of head. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, By the way, I unintentionally made circuits 
head into a shadow because that's supposed to be like clouds of smoke on the cover. Because of how I have it angled, it looks like Sook is casting a shadow on it. Yeah, I got from it. All right, and of course, yeah. uh, the funny thing is, uh, yesterday, of course, while we uh, realized a couple of things and we're um, fishing around a little bit, we got some unexpected postings uh, from Short Circuit. So, since we're already talking about um, old VHSs and old stuff, here's a here's really old art. <laughs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> the apocalypse has happened. It's a, <laughs> it's a different kind of apocalypse. Oh, of I course. I've seen another one of the same style. Yep, uh, you no, absolutely you did. <laughs> right, this did happen. Yeah. <laughs> I, know how you, I, know, I know how you feel, Suki. I was the same way. <laughs> like oh yeah this was a thing oh i, I remember when i did that once but i deeply regret it still to this day <laughs> we all do we all uh 2012 uh... Uh... all right but that is what uh, that is what we have for the entries for the challenge of the week Thank you so much for um, giving uh, giving me a, what, a head scratcher. I actually had to think a little outside the box on that one, so I do thank you for the random prompts. It also stretched my artistic ability, though. Wow, my fingers hurt after that. But uh, also thank you to Toa for um, once again um, participating as well. I try. But now the best part comes. The new guy. Some of you are already ready for this. But we're going to go ahead and give you your opening. It's time to do the next week's challenge. And that means a random poll from suggestions. So all of you get one entry. Throw it into the chat. Throw it to me directly. However you want to do it. Give me all of your, give me your one entry. And I'm going to put it into a randomized list. Anything is fair game as long as it will not get me canceled. And we will put them all into a nice little randomizer pool and let random let random intelligence decide for us. So far, we got some interesting Paul's ones. Now on time out for what he just said in chat. No problem. He still got the entry though. So we got the wrong color: muting Toa, Lord Commander, that ass. <laughs> oh dear world, we're getting everything, aren't we? Artificial intelligence. Swords and sandcastles. That actually sounds like a knockoff of Dungeons and Dragons. I love it. Everybody, do you want to play swords and sandcastles? I'll be a level nine beach bum. <laughs> <laughs> Along with some rum. Wants to be a level ten knockoff pirate. Yar. <laughs> okay. okay, we got the level eight um sunburnt Karen. Her rage, her rage is so furious that nothing can stand in her way when somebody slaps her. Burn. Not even a slushy can cool her rage. No, it cannot. Uh, At the end, boss, the tsunami. I okay. So we got all of our entries here. Giving it just a little bit longer. Uh, I see. Okay, Chaos like I even threw an image uh, of his thoughts. All right. But we're going to go ahead, and uh, I believe we got all of our entries here, so let's go ahead and randomize in three, two, one. Wow. Well, you know what? He won it, so I'll go ahead and use this as well. Kind of. Swords and sandcastles. So I may have inadvertently already started influencing people, but yes, next week's challenge is swords in sandcastles. However, however you want to describe that is completely up to you. You can take my crazy ranting as possible options. By the way, if we do do this, I want to be a strong beast. 
Well, All right. Like, no, no, you're gonna be a C won't. you're gonna be a seashell collector and like it. <laughs> As for the protest initiative challenge, I feel that is only appropriate. Uh, being a uh, person from Tumblr. And as Tumblr has recently got polls, and this was a poll, and it did not have the option, I feel it is only appropriate for this week's challenge of the week, or protest initiative challenge anyways, is Vanilla Extract. Nice. So that, uh, there was something behind that. Too. Vanilla Extract. So vanilla vanilla Extract. Swords and Sandcastles and Vanilla Extract. Honestly, that makes for one, two really strange combinations. So that's gonna be that's gonna make for some interesting creation. Yep, we're, we're baking cakes with Keyblade, Joe. Yeah, oh. there we go. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're uh, we're inserting vanilla uh, extra extra into the swords. Yeah, you're, you're, you're trying, man. You really are. Uh, I'll get he he trying, man. We, but, if uh, we can have Keyblade, we can have food powered swords. We can oh call it vanilla axe strict. Mm -hmm. There you go. There you go. Okay. 